Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a Dollar Tree DIY using the solar lights that the Dollar Tree carries just about all year round. You can find them in silver, you can find them in black. These are a handy little thing. Today's DIY, I can't wait to show you what I do with them. You're gonna love this. This is a must-see DIY because this DIY is not only quick, easy, but it is so budget-friendly and it is using 100% Dollar Tree items. It doesn't get any better than that. So like I always say, I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget with these solar lights today. This is great. I love this one. This is kind of a throwback Thursday, but this video back in the day didn't get very many views and I really loved it. So I'm bringing it back to you today, this Thursday. Let's get to it. I received some amazing subscriber mail from these three subscribers that I'll be sharing with you after today's DIY. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. Now these solar steak lights are nothing new to the Dollar Tree. They have switched up the style every now and again. You can remove the steak part of it, the stick part of it, because you don't need it. Then you can also remove this clear part here, which is going to expose the light. You need to remove this yellow tab so your light can start charging. I'm gonna replace this, it just simply twists back in. And yes, you are going to need a mason jar. I'm using this ball one that I had in my stash. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lid. We don't need the disc. We can discard that, all we need is the ring. How about we use some of Dollar Tree's Crafter Square Buffalo Check Fabric. I love that they are widening their variety of fat quarters there. I love that Dollar Tree has these fat quarters, period. I'm gonna place it face down on the back side of my fabric. It doesn't matter, back side, front side, either side doesn't matter. And I'm gonna cut a rough circle around it about two inches out from the ring itself. Perfection is not a must. It'll be fine, just cut the best circle you can around it. Now on the back side of the fabric, I'm gonna place the ring in the center of my fabric circle and taking a pencil, I'm just gonna kinda outline the inner ring, leaving me with the circle like so. I'm gonna go ahead and fold my fabric in half and I'm gonna cut a slit in it because we want to remove, or I guess not remove, but open up the fabric in the center of that circle and so once you cut a slit, you can easily go ahead and cut, I guess, more slits all the way around it, kind of in a pie shape, kind of doing it across, then up and down, then going ahead and cutting those slits in half as well, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. And so I'm not too confusing. This is what you should be left with. This is kind of an easy way to cover something that's in the shape of a circle because it's hard to cover something that's in the shape of a circle. The fabric doesn't want to lay correctly and so if you cut slits you can easily do that. Only these slits are a bit too long so I'm going to take just about a half inch off of them all the way around. And so yeah, this is what you should be left with. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to go ahead and replace my mason jar lid back into the center using the pencil as my guide as to where to put it so I have an even amount of fabric going around the outside of my lid. Using some hot glue on the inside edge of the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and place some of that hot glue and just fold back those, what I'm gonna call our fabric tabs. And so I'm gonna do that all the way around. And now it's time to place our light, our solar light, and it's gonna go right there in the center of the mason jar ring. It fits perfectly but just to keep it in place so it doesn't pop out right there in that gap between the mason jar ring and the solar light, I'm gonna place some hot glue right along that edge just to keep it in place. I do wanna say you don't wanna put too much glue in that space that when you put the lid on like I'm doing here, you can't screw the mason jar back on. You just wanna put just a bit 
to hold the solar light in the ring itself. And so I figured the perfect finishing touch to this would be, of course, some twine. You can't have buffalo check without twine or burlap. And so to kind of put that fabric down and give it a cute rustic farmhouse look, the twine is gonna work perfect. And I'm gonna wrap it several times around there, giving it a nice thick layer of twine. We gotta have a lot of twine. We can't just have a little, we gotta have a lot. And yes, of course, this is one of those farmhouse DIYs of mine that has to be finished off with one of my twine bows. It's a mason jar. It has to be. And in just about 10 minutes, we just made this stinking adorable farmhouse outdoor mason jar light with a catch. I'll get to that in a minute. Now, if you want to use this light without this plastic piece that is on the solar light itself, you totally can just remove it and replace your lid and it's going to work the same. I personally like the look of the plastic piece in there because it kind of reflects these prisms that looks really neat. It just gives it a cool effect and so I'm going to keep it in. Look at how bright that is. I was really surprised at how bright these solar stake lights were. I think that this would look really cool outdoors on your table if you had several of them. Not only is it going to illuminate quite a bit of light, but it is going to be a really cute decor piece on your table that's going to leave people talking. Now for the catch. I found that I could use these indoors as well. I had placed it under a lamp just to see if the lamp would charge the solar light itself, and it did. And so what a fun little night light to have out at night that's not gonna cost you any money. If you can believe it, this is the set that I did five years ago. That was my first year on YouTube. Wowzers, and honestly, I use mason jar solar lights quite often. They have been replaced over the years. And so because I liked it so much, this was definitely one of those DIYs that I wanted to bring to you in a throwback Thursday. I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this DIY. Not only because it is so stinking cute and it screams rustic and farmhouse because of the mason jar, because of the buffalo check, because of the twine. But how great is it to have a solar mason jar light outside on your patio table so when you go out to have a nice dinner with your husband or your family, your lights just automatically light up because they've been charging all day because of the solar light on top. I love it. I just want to take a moment to share with you the amazing subscriber mail that was sent to me by these three subscribers. Alrighty, we are going to start off with this enormous and most thoughtful and much appreciated subscriber mail that I received from Elizabeth Cisneros. She sent me an enormous box full of amazing crafting supplies, and this is not even half of it. She has sent me a Cricut cuddle bug. How amazing is that? And she sent all the plates that go with it to use it tons of silicone stamps. This is not even half of what she gave me. I just wanted to show you all a portion of it. Some amazing stamp cleaning wipes. I believe she sent me two or three packages of those. A ton of stamp pads. I, When I say a ton, I wanna say probably about 50 in every color. We have got regular stamps in here with the letters of the alphabet. She has sent me a bunch of really fun washi tape. I love it. Some embossing, oh my goodness, plates here. Tons of patterns of embossing for embossing. How amazing is that to go with the cuddle bug? This is, oh, for Valentine's Day. I love that. How fun are these? I cannot wait to store all this. Wow, wow, wow. And oh my goodness, how cool is this? Elizabeth, you were organized. Yet, oh my goodness, look at these stamps of the cameras. I love that. Amazing. And then she even stored them in envelopes and she embossed the envelopes with the print. How amazing is that? Tons and tons and tons of these. Wow, Elizabeth, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this amazing gift. 
that you have given me. I am assuming that you didn't have use for these anymore or you had too many and you decided to um, send them off to me so I could utilize them and it is so appreciated. And again, I just wanna say this is not half of what she gave me. She gave me so much and um, it is much, much appreciated. So Elizabeth, thank you so much for thinking of me and sending me these amazing crafting supplies. The only words I have right now are wow. And when I say that, it's because this here is very humbling. This comes from Brandy Spikes. Look at how absolutely gorgeous she is. She has such kind eyes. Brandy sent me all of these amazing crafting supplies to add to my stash. And what I love about her note to me was not only did, um, she tell me why she sent me these amazing supplies, but she shared with me a bit of her life and that she's a mom of two. And um, Carmen, who is 18, and Avery, who is eight. I love that. She's, Brandy, I love that. I, I love you. <laughs> I wanna be your friend now after reading that note. And I love that she sent me a picture of her. So many times I have said to you all that when you communicate with me, you all know what I look like, but I don't know what you look like. And I have the curiosity and the need and want to make friends with those of you who I chat with on YouTube. And so Brandy, you're amazing. You've thought of it all. And oh my word, you have sent me Okay, my favorite plaques that I absolutely love to DIY, and would you look at these? I am loving this, a DIY wood truck for Valentine's Day, but it's got the stand on the back. How amazing that is. I wish I would have got this mail sooner so I could have DIY'd this for Valentine's Day. I may still do it afterwards, but boy oh boy, do we have stuff in time for Easter. She has sent me my favorite Waverly cashew. Oh my goodness. My favorite twine. Absolutely love cream burlap. She knows me so well. This amazing nautical rope. The ribbon for my hair. Brandy, you're amazing. And would you look at this? I love these. I am gonna use this stuff in a DIY. So Brandy, you better look out for it because it is gonna be coming as soon as I can do it. Some awesome wall decor decals that you will most definitely be seeing in some upcoming DIYs. Oh, I love that saying, stay humble, be kind, work hard. That's awesome. Okay, so Brandy, I have to tell you, I wanted to do a DIY this week and I thought I had some of these aluminum words and I didn't have them in my stash. And I'm putting my phone on you like I'm talking to you. Hi Brandy, let's have a conversation with your picture. And so these Harvest ones were the ones that I was looking for, this exact set. And I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna see these now in a St. Patrick's Day DIY because I needed the Harvest ones for that but it gets better. I've never seen the carrot wood ornaments. Oh my word, I love that. And the bird, the little chick. I, oh my goodness, I am going to make something out of this. Oh wait, it gets better. Berry twine in the color of white and purple for Valentine's Day. My Dollar Tree never got those in. See, my Dollar Tree doesn't get stuff in too. She has sent me some raffia and some Jenga blocks. Wowzers. Okay, I don't know Brandy when I'm, oh wait, and there's a wreath ring. Wow, there's so much, it's like Christmas and some spray pump bottles. Brandy, not sure when it's all gonna be in a video, but I promise you that if you stay tuned, you are going to see some of your stuff up here in my DIYs and I really appreciate it. Oh look, there's cork too. Yay, I'm excited. Thank you so much, Brandy. And I'm gonna be sending you a little something in the mail, so keep an eye out for it. And here we have another amazing craft box package that was sent to me 
by Robin from Pennsylvania. I'm not even gonna try and say your last name, Robin. Oh my word, I am so sorry, but oh my goodness, you all who have sent me mail today wanna keep me busy crafting. Would you look at all this amazing stuff? We've got rope, we always need glue sticks. Yes, I need those. I have had a burn or two over this last year. Loving the colored raffia. Okay, these are not stickers that I have ever seen. Robin, thank you so much for getting me two packs. These are amazing. The colors are perfect. So much I can do with those. We've got some chunky paint brushes, a roller, a fabric rotary cutter, this sassy and chic, but I'm thinking this can be used as a cricket something or other. How cool is this? This organizer for pencils and brushes. Always need sponge dabbers. This paper pack, I will most definitely use these in paper crafting. She sent me two of them. Wow, they, there's a lot in there. That is awesome. So this paper pack and two sets of wood letters. I love these wood planks. I was looking for those. How cool is this black floating shelf? Oh my goodness. I wish I could tell you all that I knew when I was gonna use all of these amazing items that the three of you have sent to me, but you'll just have to stay tuned because I promise you, all of your stuff is going to be making an appearance in some of my upcoming DIYs this next year. There is so many amazing crafting supplies that you all sent to me that I am so excited to use and so excited to add to my crafting stash. So Robin, thank you so much for your thoughtful gift. It is so appreciated and you all are amazing. It's Thursday and guess what? Kayla's uploading again. This is one that I haven't quite seen yet. I can't wait to see it. I'm sure it's gonna keep me laughing. You can find the link to this video in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed today's Throwback Thursday kind of of what I do with the solar lights that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you know what? Let's get it to 6,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of those thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, be positive.